Erin Knudsen is suing her former friend, Amy Schwager, for a loan to bring her boyfriend back from Afghanistan. Ms. Schwager, you met somebody online. Yes, I did. Tell me when you met them online, what site you were on, and what the person's name was. I met a gentleman online um, on Plenty of Fish, and I've known him for over two years. Where does he live? He lives in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And where do you live? Butterfield, Minnesota. Had you ever met him personally? Uh, we did video chat, and... Uh, Had you ever met him personally? No. And how long have you been a friend of Miss Knudsen? I've known her for several years. How many? Five, six years. From where? Butterfield, LaSalle, Minnesota. Um, I mean, did you know from work, socializing, work. Did you have mutual friends? What kind of work? Bartending. Now, this guy that you met online and had been chatting with for two years, he traveled out of the country? Yes, he did. Where did he go? He went overseas to Afghanistan and Nigeria. For what? Uh, military. So he's in the military, you think? Yes. You think he's I in the I think he's in the military. And I'm assuming for the purposes of this case, not assuming that for the truth of what you're going to tell me, but only your motivation for asking for money from Ms. Newson. You did ask her for money. I did. And she did give you $750. Correct. And you sent her $750 and, according to you, $2,000 of your money to this person who you had met online who was in Afghanistan. I had sent him 750 and the rest later. When? Approximately four months later. What did you send him the $750 for that she gave you? He had been discharged. You mean he'd been kicked out of the army? He had been discharged. I don't know if it was honorably or dishonorably. Well, if they discharge you, they usually bring you home first. They don't leave you in Afghanistan. <laughs> they don't say goodbye. The <laughs> military doesn't say goodbye to you and leave you in Afghanistan. He had stated to me on an occasion that he was discharged, that they would not help him home. <laughs> this is some government. <laughs> Get you in the army, and then they send you thousands of miles away, and then they say, you, you know, get home on your own. Can you imagine how many volunteers we would have for the army? Right. Okay, so this is what he told you. And you believed him I because did. you wanted to. Anyway, you took $750 from Miss Newton. You asked her for it? Yes. And why didn't you give it back to her? She knew clearly that... Hey, don't tell me what she knew. Don't we, tell me what she knew. We had talked about it. The reason I had asked her for $750 was she was going to be getting extra money for sending the money to Charles. He had stated that he was going to pay her double back. I have ah. evidence. <laughs> I have... Listen, women sometimes want to believe, they want to believe so desperately the lies of a mate. This wasn't even a mate. This was somebody that you never even met. This was like, what's that scam bird that people call you now? You know, I'm, I've been kidnapped in, in yeah, Afghanistan and they're holding me for over, ransom and, yeah. and I'm, they're holding your grandchild for ransom. Please send $10,000 to this number or we're going to send home pieces of the finger or... I am here and I have no way to get home. This is just right. a, please I'm, send me I'm money. Stuck, or yeah. you have yeah. inherited $100,000. All in order to collect the $100,000, all you have to do is wire $2,000 into this bank account and then we'll be able to release the paperwork and send you the other $98,000. Only thing is, you believed it. I did because You believed it because it. that's what you wanted to believe. I'm listening to your story. I can't get home because I'm in the military and now I'm no longer in the military and they told me how to get home by myself. And you say to yourself, really? <laughs> really? You have to return the money to her, $750, judgment for the plaintiff.